everyone, Elizabeth at Ransad here. Just wanted to um, cover off a few things about being a temporary worker through Ransad. So a few things that we just have to highlight the importance of and the processes and procedures when you work with an organisation through ourselves. The first thing I want to cover off is timesheets. When you're a temporary worker, you will be submitting a timesheet on a weekly basis. This will then be submitted on a Sunday evening and it will go for approval to your supervisor. If there are any issues, myself will contact you on a Monday to rectify these issues and also ensure that you will be um, everything authorised before the pay run on a Tuesday, which will be in your accounts no later than the Wednesday. You will pay on a weekly basis as discussed and it's up to yourself to ensure that you record your breaks and all hours that you worked correctly. The next thing that we're going to cover off is annual leave and any other sort of leave that you might be taking whilst you're working. Annual leave is something that you will accrue on a weekly basis and that equates to 8% of your total salary. If you're wanting to take any annual leave at all, you will have to have this pre-authorised by your line manager. In order for this to be authorised, please ensure that you contact them with plenty of notice so that they can plan for their team accordingly in your absence. If you also would like me to contact your manager on behalf of you to ask for this leave, then that can also be done so by sending me an email as soon as possible. After your leave has been approved, please then contact me and I can arrange for your annual leave accrual to be paid out alongside your weekly paycheck. This will just be done at the same time when the pay run runs on a Tuesday. The next thing that we're going to cover off is sick leave and any other sort of unexplained absences that you may have. If for any reason that you are unwell, you must report into your manager as early as possible, be it the night before, sending them a text, or if it's on the morning of, giving them a call and letting them know that you're unwell. This is very important that they know that you're not going to be in work because you're unwell. You must also report to Elizabeth and let her know that you're not going to be in work. This is crucial. As for um, annual leave, once again, I just want to reiterate the importance of having this pre-authorised. You can't just decide that you don't want to go into work one day. You must always have any absences authorised by your manager. You must be working with Ramsad for six months before you um, are eligible for any sort of sick pay. You are then qualified for five days sick leave a year. And that goes the same for um, bereavement or parental leave as well. The next thing that we're going to cover off is dress code in the workplace. You'll all be working in professional environments, so your dress code is always going to be corporate. You may have on the odd Friday the ability to go in wearing sort of casual wear, but for the most part you must ensure that you're wearing safe and appropriate clothing. That means no sneakers and um, corporate business wear throughout the day. There may be some organisations that will have changes to this, but this will always be sort of communicated through your manager and ensure that if you are wanting to wear anything other than corporate wear, that you have this covered off by your manager. Here at Ramsad, we just want to make sure that you sort of have the best assignment possible in the safest environment. By adhering to all of these things that I've discussed, you'll have a really good assignment and we look forward to hearing how it all goes. Thanks again and have a great day. Bye.